What well, going traders? Yeah, the traders here again, man. All right, so we're gonna give you another quick morning update in terms of what's going on with Mullen. So as usual, don't forget to subscribe and give me the thumbs up if you like this type of content. I give you these videos early in the morning, like an hour and a half before the market actually opens. So, um, you know, we, we are on a journey here, guys. So I wanna make sure that no one is missing out. We're all a part of the family here. So let's take a look at Mullen. So as you can see, I keep, you know, saying this over and over, guys. So <laughs> I don't want it to turn into a cliche, but Mullen keeps doing everything that we have asked it to do. So let me make this, this um, screen a little bit bigger for those guys that are on smaller devices. So if we take a look here, Mullen held the support at 32. Mullen pushed up from the support. That was yesterday. And it, it had popped up to the next little resistance. Um, when you hear I say little resistance, that means um, it's still a little uh, a resistance, but it's not major as where I would have drawn these red lines, you know, at like um, 32, at like um, 21, and then at 46. So this little resistance here, as you can see where my cursor is, that was a little resistance that it needs to also go through. And look at what it's doing since um, pre-market, guys. It's popping right through it. So, as I said, I hate to sound like a, a cliche, but you know what? I'm going to say it. As predicted, guys. As predicted. I told you yesterday that morning's going to go up when it was at um, around 32, thereabout. Well, I'm telling you guys from last week, actually, when Mullen is going to run. And I did say yesterday that Mullen, if you check my video out, that Mullen is going to go up 27%. So let's take a look and see where we are, guys. Let's take a look at Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance, if you take a look here, showing 8%. Round, let's round that to 9%, guys, um, during the market yesterday and then another 10% pre-market. How much is that? 18%. So I did say by today, Friday, and around by say one, two o'clock, it will hit the 27%. <clears throat> so we are now at um, basically 18% guys. So we have 9% left to go, <laughs> you know, so it's great when you can read what the market trend is saying, read the volume and see exactly what's happening. So if you look, take a look at the market cap, market cap has gone up by around 50 million. So we had 646 million. Um, volume has come in, guys. We keep saying if we don't have volume, stock is not going to move. So average volume was 218. Now it's 290 that came in, guys. So volume is coming in. So what is causing this to happen? So saw a little pop up on my phone yesterday with an article. As I said, I don't really follow the news, you know, much, but um, this one caught my attention. It said that Mullen is actually, uh, I think two other companies, I don't remember the name of the companies. They're actually being, um, their vehicles, I think is the, the, this, the um, electronic trucks, are being tested at LAX airport. So what does that mean? That means if Mullen get into, um, in terms of, um, you know, passing this, um, this little testing phase and it works out, that means it's open a lot of room to Mullen being, um, you know, looked on as a supplier of these vehicles for the airport but I'm not even just thinking about the airport and re possible government contracts. I'm thinking about what about ports, you know, um, like where they have containers coming in off the ships, that type of thing, you know, because you need those type of vehicles to do shunting. Um, you know, what about um, construction in terms of mining, that type of thing? 
because that will reduce the cost of construction, the cost of um, it will eliminate the, the cost of fuel totally um, in terms of um, those type of businesses. So Mullen, um, chances are may not need to say much in terms of for the stock to go up to a dollar, but guess what? Uh, when I say a dollar, a dollar to remain on the Nasdaq and on the Russell. But guess what? If they do these little things and prove to us that yes, um, they are growing, then you know, chances are it will do well. All right. So if we look at similar um, stocks to Mullen, um, you know, Lucid basically was flat. Rivian went up six percent. Xpeng um, and Neo basically flat. I, I'm not sure what's going on with Chinese stocks. They're just not moving, you know, and it's 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 pretty sad. So anyway, um, let's take a look at the options, guys, because our guide over the past couple of weeks, over the past couple of months since I started doing videos on Mullen, our guide has always been our option interest, guys. So let's take a look. So look at this, guys. Look at the calls, calls that, and the call volume for yesterday, one hundred and twelve thousand guys. Puts basically non-existence. So the volume is coming in. The volume is rolling in, guys. That's what we want to see. Um, in terms of the open interest, we are at seventy-three thousand, and that is for today. So that's pretty good for Mullen. Um, I think based on what we're seeing, you know, um, we're going to hit that 46 cents today. Um, in terms of next week, 32,000. And for the um, the following week, 42,000. So, guys, Mullen is looking pretty good. So, as I had asked yesterday, um, and maybe this is a question for yourself, think of what you will do when Mullen hit 46 guys what will you do because this is a very heavy resistance this area all of this area is a very heavy resistance so what will you do do with them all i'm gonna say or advice for you guys to do um this is not financial advice though this is what i would do um i would say um maybe if you don't want to um take profit you could actually have like a trailing stop that if the stock goes up um, you know, it trails by, you know, a couple of cents. If it pulls back down, then, it, you know, t you, you would sell some of your shares. Or, you know, some persons want to just maybe take out their initial investment, like Timothy had mentioned yesterday. Take out their initial investment. And so you just have working with the house money. So, guys, this is the heavy resistance here we're going in. And let me remind you why I call it the heavy resistance, guys. So I'm going to zoom out. This is the resistance that was there from this level. Okay, and this was the was um, the 23rd of February. If you look at the very bottom of my screen here, it's the 23rd of February um, last year. Let me zoom out further. So here it is, guys. The this is around the yeah the 23rd of February there about last year. These lines represent each year. Okay, so this was the 23rd of February last year. So if we get through that 46, our next level of resistance will be here, which you have a support, and this was around um, the 20th of June last year, which is an old all support from two years ago um, this was the 9th of March two years ago guys so we just need to get through that 46 and then you know you'll see how Mullin would move going forward all right guys so that's basically um, what I have for you this morning you know um, we're looking good guys we're all you know in the green I would hope everyone are in profit who has been following this this channel for you know the past couple of weeks past two months started this um in around november 
but we have been you know we have been growing we have been showing profits all along guys so just be careful secure your investment and as usual don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like this type of content so until um, next time guys take care and have a great weekend